Oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? My friends all drive Porsches, I must make amends. Worked hard all my lifetime, no help from my friends. So Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? <laughs> That's a wrap. Hello and good morning. It is Monday and welcome to the vlog. I know you can't see me, but my view is more interesting than me. Look, we have two cats lined up. Rory's in front and Molly's behind. What are they waiting for? I don't know. It's like they're lined up waiting for a train. Or is it in fact a cat train? I don't know. What are they doing? Crazy cats, aren't you? Oh, we also have a Brian. You know where he is. Do I even have to say? You know where Brian is. Yes, you guessed it. He's in the basket. Again, you don't have to thank me for your Brian in a basket, cat in a basket fix. <laughs> so I'm not going to go in and disturb him. Ugh, not even allowed in my own greenhouse, but look, the seeds are doing quite nicely. Um, still a bit sparse over here. But anyway, we'll see, they are different sorts of seeds. And this week, I need to get started on my meadow. It did say that you can start to plant from April. It's April, so so yes, this, this needs work. Look at the weeds. Um, these aren't weeds, these are, um, I think they're blue cornflowers. So I need to get them up and then I will plant them where I want them. But they do um, kind of overtake everything else. So I might actually put them into pots until the rest of the meadow is established and then put them in. I think that's a better idea because last year I left them in as they had self-seeded and they overtook everything and not a lot of meadow seeds actually took because of, because of those blue cornflowers. So um, yes, I think I'm, that, that's a plan with those. It all needs digging over and clearing of weeds and all the rest of it. So, so yes, job for the week. And look at the camellia, not rhododendron. <laughs> Not rhododendron, camellia. Look at it. Ah. Um, some of the flowers, have, some of the early flowers have started to drop off and um, go a little bit not nice. But look, isn't it beautiful when it's all in flower? That is really gorgeous. I love it. And lots of blossom on the damson tree as well. Can you see? Beautiful. Okay, cat scamping. <laughs> Molly wants to go in. I will let her in in a moment. But I wanted to show you the um, the woodland at the back of my house. Now, I've only recently just found out via Facebook, actually, that it is classified now as a nature reserve, which makes sense because there is lots of wildlife up there. And like I say, I like I showed you, uh, we did see a bird of prey the other week. So, so yes, I actually have a nature reserve at the bottom of my garden. Isn't that lovely? How many people have a nature reserve? at the bottom of their garden. Um, so that's quite nice and I, I think that means it's protected against any future development or anything like that. So so yes, it's, it's quite nice living living at the bottom of a nature reserve. How lovely. Hello, it is still Monday and I am on the gym car park. Um, I'm back into my routine. I'm feeling really positive about it. I'm going to do my normal gym session. It's the push part of my weekly session, my three part split. And then I'm going to swim in the pool. But this time I'm gonna try and do lots more front crawl because I've been doing lots of breaststroke up and down for 45 minutes every session, half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, but I want to try and introduce more front crawl strokes. So, you know, if I can go, you know, up front crawl, down breaststroke, up front crawl, that will get me back into swimming. I used to be really, really good at swimming. I used to be on the swim team. I used to actually swim. I used, I used to do the hardest stroke, which was butterfly. Um, but yes, that was many, many, many moons ago. So I need to get back into it. So I want to really up now my swimming training as well, even though um, it may not be very good for the whole skin thing. But anyway, we'll see how that goes. So I will check back with you later. Oh, I've also done a little bit of shopping as well. Um, and we're going to try Molly on some um, still wet food, but some different food. Let me just show you. So I've got like some just regular cans of cat food because those pouches that she's on are incredibly expensive and she's getting through about four or five of them a day. Um, yeah, because Rory's eating some too. So I'm going to try some those big cans because years ago, that is what 
my old cats um, TC and Tutsi um, of Top Cat. If you if you ever watched the cartoon, um, they died over twenty years ago now. But when I was young, that is all they ate. They ate from tins like that, tins of whiskers and that kind of thing. So um, I don't really think all of these really expensive pouches are necessarily worth it. So I'm just going to see if she will have that food or not. We'll see, we'll give it a go. I may actually film her reaction. That might be funny. I will film her reaction to the cheap food. Right, this is your new food. Go on, go on. <laughs> what do you think about your new food? I know you're rubbing the biscuits, you can't have them. You can't have those biscuits. No. Come on. Right. Come and eat your food. <laughs> Go on. Go eat your food. Go eat your new food. What? It's daddy's foot more interesting. Go on. Go on. Over there. What? <laughs> no, this is your lovely new cheap food. Go on. Oh, and yes, um, in case you're wondering, my cats do eat from a Wedgwood bowl. Go on now. Oh, good girl. Oh, is it not the same? Do you want biscuits? Okay, I'll leave you to eat that. Go on then. You eat that. Go on. Hello, and it is Wednesday, and I am on the gym car park because I'm keeping up with my routine. Uh, it is the pull exercises today, uh, but I'm not going to go swimming because I think uh, Jason's going to get up early today and we are going to go shopping I think to our local town centre so so yes we'll see how that goes so I want to be kind of quick in the gym I just want to do my regular workout and then go home and have some lunch and um, then hopefully go out shopping yay um, maybe I'll get some footage from shopping I don't know it'll have to be very covert because I'm still not terribly good at uh, vlogging when there's like an entire shopping centre full of people <laughs> talking to yourself in a camera yes um i'm still kind of getting used to that. i'm getting better i am getting a lot better but yes some kind of low-key filming um however if i did get the dji pocket osmo that's almost like it's like teeny 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 tiny um that's really easy to just kind of whip out and do a bit of covert filming so um maybe i need to invest in one of those i don't know anyway see you later okay so we've just been to the car garage jason has had Four new tyres on his car, which is really, really good because they needed it. And now we are going on our way to the car wash and then we're going to do a little bit of shopping. Hello, it is Thursday and look, another plane. Ah, oh, I wish I was on it. I wonder where it's going. I still haven't got the app. <laughs> I still need to get the plane app. I can track these aeroplanes, but look. Wow, I wish I was on it. I will be one day, <laughs> one day soon, I will be on a plane, just like that. wanted to show you these beautiful daffodils they are amazing and the scent from them is absolutely gorgeous they really do they are really highly scented they are amazing look so delicate and beautiful sniff sniff with me people mmm the aroma is just delicious and let's take a look at the garden for a little moment oh we have a Rory as well Hello Rory, how are you today? Are you rocking the gargoyle? 
and we have Brian, but Brian is in a different spot. Let's go and check out Brian. He is in the box of wood. Let's go and see him. Here he is, look. Let's try and creep up really carefully. Here is Brian. Hello, Brian in the box of wood. How are you doing? Good boy. We'll leave you in peace. <laughs> I wouldn't want to scare and upset Brian. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, by the way, look, look at the blossom on my damson tree. Should have lots of damsons on there this year. And look at my rose over here. Now, we have progress with this rose. This is amazing. These are the ones obviously in the ground, um, but the ones in the pots, again, I know I showed you earlier this week, but hey, look, we have lots and lots and lots more buds. Can you see lots of the buds? It's amazing. This way. Yeah, three acres. Models required. Oh, they're always busy, aren't they? Crazy. Look at your foot. What's he at? Hello. Cuddles. <coughs> Come on him. Hello. Come on him. <coughs> Look at your little skinny ball. Look. Hello. No, you can't go out. You've got to wait another week. No. You can't. You've got to go. You've got to wait a week. I oh, know. Don't look at me like that. Megan's <laughs> not going to show the baby off. No, please. You can look out of the window, can't you? I know, but you can't. No. No. You've got to be content in the house. There's Brian and Rory. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for a box. We have heart-shaped boxes, normal boxes, round boxes. Oh, look at Molly and Rory. Rory was just turned upside down on his back waiting for Molly. <laughs> oh. Hello and good morning. I have my coffee. I have actually woke up and had a coffee today. I bought this Nescafe coffee in sachets and you put it in your cup, add water and it, it kind of froths up. So I'm enjoying that this morning. There's a few things I wanted to talk to you about and update you with. By the way, Brian is looking very uncomfortable. He's in the box of wood right beneath me. I can hear him shifting, um, so he might jump out. 
<laughs> Brian, it's okay. I will share my greenhouse with you. You can stay here. It is fine. <laughs> you are lodging after all. Anyway, um, so there's a few things I wanted to talk to you about. First thing I wanted to talk to you about was Rupert. So as you have seen already in the footage, Rupert now has his bandage off and the vet made the decision to take the bandage off because she felt like his paw was being wrapped up a little bit too much and therefore it was getting all sweaty and moist, which they didn't want. So they wanted it to dry out. Now, it had kind of knitted together enough to take it off. Rupert doesn't appear to be in any kind of pain whatsoever. He's jumping around, he's acting completely normal, like a completely normal cat. Oh, Brian's on the move. Goodbye, Brian. Oh, I don't know that cat. Um, I'll be gone soon, don't worry, you can have your greenhouse back. So Rupert's bandage is now off. He's still on his um, antibiotics and painkillers, although I don't think he needs the painkillers, to be quite honest. It looks like it's healing fairly well, but he's, he's inside. She's, he's been told that his next appointment is for a week's time and he's got to stay in during that week, which he is absolutely hating. He does not want to be in the house. He's driving my nan absolutely mad. He keeps going to the doors and the windows. Whenever um, anyone comes or goes from, from the house, we have to make sure that he's locked in a different room while we open the outside door. It's a nightmare, but hopefully he should be able to go out in a week. So that is really, really good news. So um, just hold on in there, Rupert. You will be outside and back to normal very, very soon. The next thing I wanted to talk about is I did a run, my first ever run, ever, 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 apart from cross country at school where it was like really, really short, a really, a really, really short course where we did it like once a term. Um, but I have not done any kind of running at all for about 20 years. Yeah, about 20 years. So I decided, well, Jason asked me to go running with him. And of course, uh, you may know Jason uh, does lots of running um, recently over the past seven months. And he does almost like 10k a day, uh, apart from weekends when he's working. So he's really, really into the running and can run a lot. So when I decided, well, when, when he asked me to come along with him, I was like, I won't be able to run as much as you. Um, I'll probably be stopping every two seconds. I'll probably need to rest when I get to the end of the road. Um, so he said that he'd, you know, go easy on me. So we went and my goodness, I didn't, I did not realise how hard running is. It is so aerobic. Um, you lose your breath re really, really quickly. I felt it in my um, in my calves first. Then I felt it in my feet. Then I felt it in my thighs. And um, I did stop a few times, but for, for my first time, I was actually really impressed with myself. I managed 3K in, in distance and I ran most of that distance. Um, it got to the end point where I was like, I can't even pick my legs up anymore. I have got to stop. So we did walk the last little bit. Um, but on the whole, I did push myself and um, I did almost 3K of complete running, which was really, really good, I think, for anyone's first time. So once I built up my stamina, I think I'll be able to go for a run. I'd like to be able to go for a run with Jason at least three times a week. Um, you know, just to get out there. It was really fun to get out there and just see things from a different pace. And we have got lots of nice uh, places to run where I live. So it was very, very nice. I enjoyed it. I just need to build up my stamina because otherwise I feel like I'm holding him back. Anyway, um, I will get there. I will go on the treadmill at the gym and try and build up so that I can do 3K, at least 3K without stopping. So that is my aim for that. Oh, and the sweat on the back of my head. I mean, I'm a sweaty person anyway, so the sweat was just dripping off my neck and it caused a sweat rash on my neck. I'm, I've got very sensitive skin, as you probably know, and it just caused this horrible sweat rash. So I went straight in the shower after I'd finished. And then the next day, my legs, oh my goodness. Oh, the pain, the pain. And I felt the pain in my shin. I didn't even know you had anything on top of your shin. Uh, whether it's tendon or muscle, I don't know, but it was killing me. And it's taken until now for it to completely go. So that's three days for it to completely go. So uh, anyway, that is my aim. I want to be able to do 3K of complete solid running, at least so I can do, um, you know, one lap with Jason. So, so that will be something to work towards. 
Oh yes, um, and you did see some footage of me going to the local craft shop where I bought a box um, and that's going to be my, my mystery box for my openings for my other channel. I need to customise it, I'll show you what I bought um, in a little bit. Uh, I did buy some, some like decoupage paper and this cardboard box. So that's going to be for my fantasy box which I will be doing on my other channel um, as soon as I get a chance to make the box up and make it look pretty um, and then record the actual video. I thought I should also show whoops, my seeds. So uh, we still don't have anything coming through in these but then again they were planted much later after these. This tray isn't doing ter terribly well, I have to say. We have a few seedlings around the outsides, um, but not terribly a lot going on there. The first two that we did are really, really good. Um, so I'm hoping that these Nemesias do come through, but we'll see. The sweet peas are looking really good, really healthy and bushy. So I'm just gonna give, give the seeds a little quick water for today. I have been watering them regularly, so we'll just, Give them a little splash Ooh, and the sweet peas. There we go. So that should help them. And it's also time to nearly do my meadow. Well, actually, it is time to do my meadow. So I think today, oops, let's just hire that up. I think today I'm going to be preparing the ground ready for sowing. So that means digging it, taking out all the weeds, just making the soil nice and fine so that I can sprinkle the seeds on because these are definitely ready. Um, yeah, I need to get these planted as soon as possible. And then hopefully we'll have a beautiful wildflower and uh, bee friendly and butterfly friendly meadow for the summer. Oh yes, and you also saw a little bit of footage that I filmed from a night out with Jason. Uh, we went out and had a carvery, which is uh, you know meat, potatoes, veg, all that kind of thing, gravy, uh, which was lovely because we, we haven't had one for a long time and it was really, really nice to have that. Then we went for a drink and we had a little walk around. Then we sort of went back home and went to somewhere else for another drink and then we went back home and spent the evening together. And then on Saturday, I had a bit of a change of plan. Um, I had to reschedule my live chat because we decided that we wanted an evening together, and I think it was very important to put um, to put your 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 own personal time first for once. Of course, I do my live chat every single week at ten o'clock GMT, almost without fail. I hardly take a break from it, um, and I didn't want to take a break this time, so I did bring it like drastically early, which I didn't have a chance to tell you guys about. So, so I do apologise for that. Um, but it did go okay, um, and I think most people managed to catch it, and you were at least able to catch it later if you did miss it. So um, it's all good, it, it all went fine, um, but my schedule will be back to normal next week. It will be back to 10 o'clock GMT. Also, I did want to talk to you about my new Facebook community. Um, it's a really good way for you guys to post your things, your photos, your videos, you can go live on there, I do believe. I don't think anyone has yet, <laughs> including myself, but you can go live. You can share what you're wearing, you can share your pets, um, you can share your home, you can share anything about the royal family if you want to. It is called Royal Reviewer and Friends on Facebook. Basically, it's just so that you can post anything you want, get to know people that regularly post on the Royal Reviewer um, YouTube page, so it's just a really good chance for you to be you and get to know other members, um, other friends, make new friends. So it's just a really, really good and fun community. And I think we're almost up to 200 members already. So you have to request to join. So you search on Facebook, um, Royal Reviewer and Friends. The group comes up, you click on it, you, um, you request to join. Now, there are three questions that come up and um, please answer them because myself and, and the moderators cannot accept you unless you have answered those questions because it tells us that you are a genuine person and not a troll. So please answer the questions. Uh, it's very, very important that you do that and then we'll let you in the group, of course we will, and, um, and you can get posting and you can see what other people have put. There's some fabulous photos already, I have to say, and some rather cute pets. I've seen some really cute pet photos as well. So, um, so yes, take a look and, um, and join.
And now I've got over a thousand subscribers on my second channel, Elliot's British Life, so thank you so, so much for everyone who has subscribed. And I can now live stream through mobile um, on that channel, so I'm gonna be doing a lot more on that channel coming up very, very soon. I also wanted to tell you before I move on about the British weather at the moment. It is sunny, but it is absolutely freezing. And in particular, when the sun goes in, it is freezing. The wind chill, when it's, oh, it's so windy as well. It is absolutely freezing. It looks lovely. It looks like spring. It looks like early summer. It is not. Um, it's definitely April and you can feel it in the air, the cold air is really biting at night time, you have to have your heating on. Um, so don't be fooled by the, the gorgeous looking weather, it is cold, really, really, really cold. <gasps> Which is why I'm, I'm wrapped, I mean, I'm really wrapped up today. It is freezing, sunny, but freezing. I feel like um, it's, it, it's a yin and yang thing going on. Oh. Hello, Brian. <laughs> Where is he? I've just seen Brian coming out of my house. So he's obviously been in there, eating all the food, haven't you, Brian? Where are you? Um, and now he's going off somewhere. <gasps> I don't know. Oh, by the way, Brian's going to get new neighbours. Let's just... Where, where... Oh, look at the flowers, by the way. Aren't they gorgeous? Yes, Brian's going to get new neighbours because the house next door to Brian has gone up for sale. So, Brian's going to have new neighbours. I wonder how much he'll like that. How pretty. I thought I'd show you the tree as well. Look at all the, um, well, I think it's like a, like a blossom at the moment on the tree, um, but they will obviously turn all to leaves. You can see leaf buds, but um, the tree is looking rather gorgeous too. Okay, so this is the box that I bought. Just a big firm cardboard box. Um, it cost £8.50 in the UK. It's just, just a big, firm cardboard box, uh, which I'm going to decorate. So, what did I buy? Well, um, I bought this a little while ago in anticipation. I did get some PVA glue, which obviously I can use. Um, I actually got this at a really good price. It was 30 pence, 85% markdown. That is amazing. So, um, so that was a bargain. I got some brushes so I can do my decoupage. Um, I got a set of whiteboard markers, which you'll see why when I open something in a little while. So this is a little bit of a spoiler, but I did need some, some whiteboard markers for something else. And I got these. Oh, these are gorgeous. So these are what I'm going to hopefully stick on the box. They are um, decoupage and you get three sheets of 30 by 40 centimeters. This one is like um, like a map, which I thought was quite nice. Then obviously I've got roses, because I like roses. And we've got some more sort of floral here. Um, and the idea is to cover the box to make it look nice and pretty. And then if I want to, I can find any other images and stick on the top of, of the base, basically. So I'm just putting like a base coat on. And if I do find any other images that I like, of the royal family or anything that I like, I can put it on the top of, of the base. So that's the idea. So I need to make my mystery box, or rather my fantasy box, and then obviously I can um, do my unboxing. So there we go, that's, that's that. Ooh, how much did the deco patch cost? I wanted to tell you. £3.80 for these three sheets in each, so £3.80 each. So it was quite a lot, I mean, the grand total of actually making this box is round about 30 pounds. So it's quite expensive to make your own box, but I can reuse it time and time again. So I'm okay with that. Okay, can you spot something? It's from last week. I thought I'd show you really, really quickly where I've put my little crest. Um, it's here, look, it's on my unit. Um, now I am going to change my unit eventually. I think I want to get something a little bit more modern. It is like a china cabinet unit with my glasses and different things on it. Um, oh, by the way, this is my plaster cast model of Buckingham Palace, the central balcony section. It's a limited edition art piece in plaster, which is uh, laser cut plaster, in fact, so it's gorgeous. And I've put that next to there just temporarily until I can find somewhere really, really special to put it. Before I start filming, I just wanted to say that this is how we grow them. 
um, here in the UK. Two cats in pots. Brian, you can stay. But I do have a Rory in a pot that likes to stay, don't you? Hello, sweetie. And there is actually soil in the pot as well. <laughs> you just literally sat on the soil, haven't you? Well, you can stay while I do my unboxings. Right, I'm going to turn the camera around and then, and then Brian can come back. Hello, okay, so I think Brian has just gone off to get an injunction out about a crazy person that keeps entering his greenhouse. Um, so he's off to go and do that whilst I'm still with Rory. I'm sure you can see him in said pot. Now, I have got some openings to do. I've been sent some things and we're going to start. Well, I actually, I know what's in the one. Um, and I kind of a little bit know what's in the other, but I'm going to open them and react to them because I haven't yet. So the first one is this lovely package here and it's from uh, my friend Betsy, who is also a moderator on the channel. And she knew that I was after something in particular and she sent me it. And so thank you so, so much, Betsy. Uh, I can't wait. I mean, literally. Uh, so they're in this little box. Now I've kind of pre-opened the box a little bit. So this is how they've come. And this is why I wanted the dry white markers. So, <laughs> oh my God, there's loads of them. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm only gonna get, oh, there must be about 20. <laughs> Look, oh my goodness, they're little paddles that you can write on with, um, they're like dry white boards. A bit, I think these are like school resources, but they are really, really gonna be good for my live chats because I can write things like, fake news, or I can draw an avocado with a cross through it to say that I don't like them. Um, there's lots of things I can write on them and I can hold them up and show them. Um, so I thought this, these are lovely. Um, thank you so, so much, Betsy. And like I say, I, you've seen my pens, so I have got some pens to write on them. There must literally be, how many, how many? One, two, three. There's at least 10 in here. There's at least 10. So thank you so, so much. I will have some fun um, drawing some things on these, which I will be holding up in my live chats and my pop-up chats. So uh, thank you so, so much. They are really, really good. I know um, she was a little bit concerned about the size of them uh, being a bit too small, but they're not. They're great. I like them. They are a perfect size just to hold up. I've just got to make sure that my writing isn't backwards when you see it on camera. I don't know. We'll see if that works out. Uh, but thank you so, so much. They are amazing. Let's put them safe over there. The next thing I'm going to move on to is this package. Now I know who it's from without even looking inside. I've pre-opened the flaps but I haven't taken a peek. I know it is from um, a good friend online, Barbara. So thank you to Barbara and her husband who have sent me this. They asked if, um, if they could send me a package and I said yes of course you can. Um, and I know there's also a letter in here which is very personal. So I'm not going to read out the letter. I will go away and read that and I will respond to Barbara in person, um, in private. So let's see what else there is. Let's have a look. Um, I don't know how to do this. Shall I do it so that you can see down? Let's have a little, if I move it down like this, that might work. Okay, and we're sort of, we're balancing on my shelf, but that's okay. So let's, you can see what I can see. Okay, here is the letter. So I thank you so, so much. I will go away and read that. And like I said, I will respond to you um, in private. So thank you so, so much. I will put that to one side. Oh, it's like Christmas, isn't it? Okay. Ooh, what do we have in here? Um, Barbara, my goodness, how, how many things are in here? Okay. Okay, I, I, I may need my scissors. Hang on, just a second while I go get my scissors. Okay, okay, well, we have scissors. We are back with scissors. There we go. That kind of works. Ooh, hang on. What is this? Oh, look. They chocolates. Uh, they are chocolates. Milk chocolate coated marshmallow peeps. Can you see? Barbara. They, they look lovely. Look at the colour. They look delicious. Do you know what? I will be having those with my cup of tea. I'm having to pee pat you. Um, I will be having those with my cup of tea. Thank you so, so much. They look adorable. Can't smell them because they're all wrapped up. Um, let's put them safe over here on the paper. And then I can put my rubbish on the floor and then I can open them up after. So, I mean, I can tidy them away later.
Oh, do you know, I think this looks like more chocolate. I can see chocolate coming through. Oh, it's, a, it's like a chocolate marble cat, like a two-tone cat. That's adorable. I love that. Can you see? I'm hoping that the camera is focusing. Mmm, like there's like a, a marble effect on the back. That looks delicious. Mmm. You're trying to make me fat, Barbara. No, I will enjoy it. I I do still have a little bit of chocolate in moderation. I think you should always have a little bit of what you fancy, even when you're um, dieting or trying to be fit. So, thank you. I will be having... In fact, actually, they're the perfect size. Oh, I think there's some more coming up. There is. There's some more chocolates. I think it's those peeps, but I can see a different colour. I can see pink. Oh, yeah, I can see pink. Ooh, look. Okay, these are definitely going... Oh, look at the colour. That is a gorgeous colour. Wow. Mm. Yeah, they are the same, um, but they are like a pink. So I presume they're a different flavour, I'm thinking. We shall find out. I will update you. Oh, no, this looks different. What is this? Oh. Oh, Easter. I, I love you. You know I love Easter. I really do. Oh, what are these? Um, oh, it's a Russell Stover. Stover or Stover. You know I get my pronunciations completely wrong. A big bunny marshmallow. How did you know I love marshmallows? I do actually love marshmallows. And that looks adorable and yummy. Look at the colour of the foil. Um, is it Stovert or Stover? You know I get my um, fancy... I can't read fancy writing. Uh, that is my trouble. Wow, my goodness. But I will, I will definitely enjoy eating all of these. It's like Christmas again, isn't it? <sighs> Good job my greenhouse has scissors. Ooh, what is this? I can see more chocolate. Ooh. Oh, a regular bunny, a milk chocolate rabbit. And that is adorable too. I'm hoping you can see. That is completely adorable. Thank you so, so much. Wow. I'm gonna be a big fat boy. Oh, Ooh. you know I love packages tied up in paper and string. Okay, what is all of this? Oh. I don't have these insane fruit. Ooh, um, a tasty cake, coffee cake junior. Yellow cake with crumb topping. I have not had one of those before. I have not seen the brand, not heard of the brand, and you know I like cake. <laughs> cake goes perfectly with a cup of tea. Um, thank you, I look forward to trying that. Um, a coffee cake, yellow cake with crumb topping. That looks delicious, thank you. Barbara, this, this is never ending. Thank you so, so much. You are so, so sweet. Um, let's have a look. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Uh, okay, ooh, cupcakes. Uh, buttercream iced cupcakes. Cream filled chocolate cupcakes with buttercream icing and cream filling. Okay, they look very nice. And you know I like nice toppings. Thank you. Wow. Um, I've got a lot, of, a lot of munchies to munch through. I'll be munching all month. Okay. Ooh. Something itty bitty bitty. What on earth is this? Oh, oh, you know, I could smell. It was something smelly. It's Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees lip balm. Um, thank you. 
beeswax lip balm with vitamin E and peppermint. Do you know what? I've not tried the ones with vitamin E and peppermint. And this one is, is honey. Um, wow. I haven't even got to open them. I can smell them. <laughs> it looks like I'm sticking them up my nose. I'm not. They look very nice. And you know I do like trying different lip balms. So I will let you know how I get on with these. In fact, I may even make a separate testing video on them. So thank you so, so much. Oh, there is a bottom layer. Oh, wow, okay, wow, wow, where do I start? Okay, let's start with this, what in the earth is this? Oh, it's, it's a tea, you put loose tea leaves in it. This is perfect for a one cup making tea. It's a stainless steel tea infuser with glass bead. This is perfect, thank you so, so much. Um, that is amazing, it's got a little float on the top as well, I like it. Um, so what you do is you put your loose tea leaves in here, which I do have some, given some as gifts. I can now put the loose tea in here in the diffuser and I can test them. So that is very, very thoughtful. Thank you so, so much. And I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> There's pollen everywhere today. I can feel it tickling, like that horrible pollen tickly feeling. Oh, my wipes. Okay, I use these. I really do. You've seen me using them, haven't you? Um, my Miclea, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. My Miclea Simple Face Wipes. Thank you so, so much. You know I use these every day, so these will be going straight into my cabinet uh, for use. In fact, actually, I've, I've literally just run out, so these are perfect timing. How did you know? I think we must have a psychic link. Um, ooh. Something else in big bubble paper. You know, some people like popping these, don't they? Oh, hang on. Oh, I could make an ASMR video. Are you getting tingles? Oh. That's a whole nother video. In fact, I might keep them and do bubble popping. Let me know if you want to see bubble popping. Or tell me if you're watching the premiere. What on earth is in here? I can see. In fact, can I see anything? I don't even know. Okay. What on earth? Oh, I can tell it's a mug. It's a mug. It's a mug. It's coming up. It's a mug. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, Barbara, that's so sweet. It's got some, um, it's got a, a written on it. I'll read it. It says, friendship means always having someone by your side. That, this is adorable. Thank you. Let me just get the little string off. And it's got a little lid. Oh, this is perfect because um, when I'm doing my live chats, I could actually have a drink in here and it may keep it nice and um, warm. I don't know. Um, but that's really adorable. Thank you so, so much. It is, if you're wondering what the make is, it's um, Dem Deco, Lift the Spirit, Dishwasher Safe. Oh, that's good because I, I have a dishwasher. Um, I don't like to do hand, hand washing up anymore. Uh, microwave safe as well. Oh, you can do like soups and things in it now. That, I haven't heard of the brand. That's really, really gorgeous. Thank you so, so much. You're so thoughtful. Um, wow. I will get into it. This is like thought not. Barbara, you are a very good rapper. Oh, 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 okay, I like these. Look how cute. Look, little Easter chicks. Okay, they're adorable. Um, everything you'd have bet Peeps all year long. So, okay, I get it now. So Peeps is a marshmallow brand. Is that correct? Um, I get it, because everything Peeps is all marshmallow. -y. So there you go, it's taken me this long to work that out. Okay, these look adorable and um, very Eastery. So festive, I like festive. Thank you so, so much. Um, they look adorable. And the last thing, but last but not least, I am sure. Let's cut into this one. Oh, I think it's a, is it a mixture of things? No, I see colors. Oh, now I know why I can see colors. 
It's pectin jelly beans, a premium bean. Wow, look at the colours on those. Uh, again, it's that Russell Stover or Stover, Stovert, I'm not quite sure. Um, oh, it's Stover, because it's print print there. Russell Stover, okay. I know you're all screaming at me and you've already told me it's Stover. So it's, now I know it's Russell Stover uh, chocolates and they're based in apparently Kansas City. Woohoo. Um, oh, that's good. I like these. These are adorable. Thank you so, so much. And just to make sure there's nothing lurking because I do not like to throw boxes away in case I've checked because I don't want to throw anything away if there's something else lurking. Um, so no, we're good. We are good. Barbara, let's, hang on, let's put the camera back up now. There we go. And I'm back in focus. Right, let's put the box down. Barbara, thank you so, so much. That was amazing. I really thoroughly enjoyed opening that box. Thank you so, so much. And I will read your letter privately and then of course respond to you. So thank you so, so much. Okay, I just let Rory out because he wanted to go. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna have time to do the Wildflower Meadow today. Um, and also it's very, very cold outside. I've got my heating on indoors. I don't particularly want to be out and I want to get editing this vlog. It is Sunday, by the way, right now. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. So if you have got through this far, uh, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. Also, please make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Subscribe to my other channel, Elliot's British Life, and don't forget to check out Royal Reviewer and Friends community page on Facebook. And you have to answer all three questions Please remember that or else we cannot add you to the group. So from me for this week in a very chilly Shropshire, mwah to you all and goodbye. <laughs>